Hey, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today we're going to talk about how close your trees can be in order for them to grow. So this is a question I get sometimes and I figured it would be a good idea to kind of just go over really quickly how trees work and how you can plant them. So the first thing we're going to do is get a couple of trees and we'll use our handy dandy shovel here. Um, so the first thing to keep in mind is that when it comes to trees, you need to have a space around each of these. So what I'm going to do is kind of demonstrate with my pathing tool where you need to have space around your tree. And so basically from your hole, you want to have one space on each side. So there should be a total of eight different spots around your tree where you don't want to plant any other trees themselves. This doesn't count for bushes, just for trees and bamboo. So generally, this is the formation you want to have for when you're planting your tree. And we'll plant one right here, just like this. So this one will grow in the next day or so. And then if we wanted to just test out how the other ones were, will work, we'll actually place two trees here as well. But unfortunately, when your trees are touching one another, they do not grow properly and they will just stay teeny tiny. Another thing to note about these is that they cannot be right up against an edge of a cliff. So as you can see, I have my cliff trees up top and they're not touching the edge, but you also can't have them up against the side of a cliff either. They have to have at least one space like this square around all sides, whether it's against water other trees or the cliff itself. One thing to note is that you can in fact plant bushes next to each other. There doesn't seem to be a limitation on attaching these. Back in New Leaf you could only have about 12, but in New Horizons they let you plant however many of these you want, so you can go crazy with the bushes and have them growing next to each other. The other fun thing about bushes is that you can plant them right up against the cliff sides and you do not have to worry about them not growing because they will grow just fine just on any cliff side at any width. So feel free to plant them wherever you want on the edges of your cliffs. I think they make a nice little green barrier between spaces on your island. One last thing to note is that palm trees are a little bit unusual and different than the standard trees. They need sand in order to grow on the grass. However, they are able to grow right up against the beach ledge here, which is very unusual compared to the trees, which you are not allowed to grow against cliffs. So with the palm trees, you have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to planting them on your beach and on your land. However, just keep in mind, you do need to put a sand plot down for them to grow on the grass. All right, so we're back and you can see that our tree inside our space has grown. And one of these has in fact grown as well, but the one next to it will not. So these actually will keep growing, but any of the extra trees that are touching will not grow against this one from now on. There is a fun trick where if you plant a fruit tree directly behind a tree that's growing, it will stunt its growth. I do have a video of that. I'll put it up in the corner. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this is helpful and helps give you an idea of how you can most efficiently plant your trees around in order for them to grow properly. So until the next one, thank you guys again, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!